we're going to carry on our process of learning how to do some calculations more quickly and easily. And again, we're going to be using the fact that our number system is based in groups of 10. This makes it easy for us if we start at 4, for example, and have to count up in 10s. We'll go 4, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, and we can even go on 104, 114, 124. This gives us the immediate answer to any of the calculations we need to do in adding 10. Straight away, we know that 4 plus 10 is 14, or 74 plus 10 is 84. And I'm sure you knew that already. But what's really nice about this is that it also helps us to do addition by 11 or addition of 9. So let's have a look at how that would work. If we wanted to start at 4 and add on 11, what we could do is we could go for and count up 11 steps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But that's going to take us an awfully long time if we're going to do that every time we want to add on 11. Let's be a little cleverer and use the fact that we know that 4 plus 10 gives us 14. All we have to do to add on 11 is to go 4 plus 10 to 14. And then just one step more because 11 is just one step more than 10. And so we'll go. Because we know 4 plus 10 is equal to 14, we know that 4 plus 11 is just going to be 14. Let me get my pen. 14 and one step more, which will give us 15. So similarly, because we know that 14 plus 10 gets us to 24, 14 plus 11 is not difficult. It's just going to be 14 plus 10 plus one step more, because 11 is just one step more than 10. And so we'll have 14 plus 11 is just going to be 24 plus one more. So, doesn't matter now what sum I give you with 11. You can do it easily. Let's think. Say, for example, I asked you, what is 23? Oh, I've lost my pen. Come back, pen. 23 plus 11. Well, you know easily, what is 23 plus 10? It's just going to be 33. And one more, because 11 is one more than 10, will give you 34. Or if I wanted... 78 plus 11, I know that 78 plus 10 will get me to 88, but I want one more than that because I'm adding 11, so my answer will be 89. So adding 11 should now be easy as anything. Let's use a similar trick to help us add on 9 to anything. Well, we know that 4 plus 10 is 14, 14 plus 10 is 24, etc. And we know that 9 is just one less than 10. So what will 4 plus 9 be? Well, again, we could go the boring route and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and get our answer of 13. But let's use our brains. We know that 4 plus 10 is 14. But we only wanted to add on 9, so we want to be 1 less than that, which will be 13. See, if we wanted to say 14 plus 9, make sure you can do that quickly and easily. Just take 2 seconds to see if you can get the answer. Did you get it? 14 plus 10 is 24, but you only wanted to add on 9, so you must drop 1 back, and you got the answer of 
23. So we can keep on going like this. If, for example, I wanted to know what 74 plus 9 would be, I know that 74 plus 10 gets me to 84. But I didn't want to add on a full 10. I wanted only to add on 9, so I need to drop 1 back and I'll get to the answer of 83. Let's practice on any number we want to. What, for example, would 52 plus 9 be? Look at this 100 square that's in front of you and see that you can get the correct answer. Take a couple of seconds to do that now. 52 plus 9. Did you get the answer? 52 plus 10 would get you to 62, but you only wanted to add on 9, so you drop 1 back and you get our answer of 61. Similarly, if we wanted to know what is 77 plus 9, we would just use the idea that 77 plus 10 gets us to 87 and drop 1 back and we'll get our answer of 86. We can do subtraction in exactly the same way. Take a couple of minutes to think about the following two things. Pause the video while you do this. We know, for example, how to count up or down in sixes, from, in tens, starting from six. So we can count up 6, 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96. We can also count backwards, 96, 86, 76, 66, 56, 46, 36, 26, 16, and 6. So subtracting 10 is very easy, right? 86 minus 10, 76. 36 minus 10, 26. Just requires us to count backwards in 10. How can we use that to get our answer for 86 minus 11 or 86 minus 9? Take a couple of minutes to do that for yourself. Pause while you do that. Okay, if you've had a chance to do it, let's discuss it together. 86 minus 11. Well, to get 86 minus 11, we know that we can go 86 and take 10 steps back. And that'll get us back to 76. But we haven't gone back far enough because we actually wanted to take off 11. So we must take off even one more. So we'll go 86, back 10 to 76, and back one more, which will get us to 75. Similarly, if we we're going to do 86 minus 9, we'll use the idea. We can go 86 minus 10, which will get us back to 76, but then we've taken off too much, so we must come one back up to get us to 77. Let's just write that down. We can go 86 minus 10 to get us to 76, but we've gone too far back, so we must come one forward, and that'll give us our answer of 77. The picture of the 100 square in your mind is very helpful for this. Let's just think, for example, what would 63 minus 11 be? Well, 100 square picture tells us easily, 63 Minus 10 gets us to 53, but we haven't gone back far enough. We wanted to go back by 11, so we pop one back down to 52. Similarly, 63 minus 9, well, 63 minus 10 gets us to 53, but we've gone too far back now because we only actually wanted to go back nine steps. So our answer should be one more, which is 54. Let's reinforce these ideas one last time by using the number line. All right, on our number line, if we do 2 plus 10, we're just going to bounce up from 2, a full jump of 10, and we should all know that that is going to get us to 12. Then 
If we need to do to find out what 2 plus 11 is, it's very simple. We can start at 2, take our jump of 10 to get us to 12, and one more step will get us to the answer of 13. Or, if we wanted to work out what 2 plus 9 was equal to, we could use what we know to say 2 plus 10 minus 1 will get us to 11. Similarly, if we wanted to know what 23 plus 10 was, the answer we should be able to know fairly immediately, a jump of 10 takes us to 33. This allows us to give an answer to what 23 plus 11 is, because we take our jump of 10, but we needed to actually make a jump of 11, so we must take one more step and we get our answer of 34. Similarly, 23 plus 9, we can do by just saying 23 plus 10, but now we've jumped one step too far, so we must come one back and get our answer of 32. What if we wanted to do 24 minus 10? Well, again, jumps of 10 are always easy. 24 down 10 steps lands us at 14. What about 24 minus 11? This means we start at 24 and we must take 11 steps back. Well, we can do 10 steps in one jump. That will lead us to 14. But we haven't gone far enough back. We were meant to go 11 back, so we must take one more step back. And that will get us to our answer of 13. And if we wanted to do 24 minus 9, we can do exactly the same idea. Start at 24. We want to take 9 steps back, but let's do a leap of 10 instead. We've leapt 10 steps back, but we've gone too far back now because we only wanted to go back 9 steps. So we must just come one forward and that'll get us to our answer of 15. You're now going to practice doing these um, and so that you can do these quickly and easily, not by counting on one at a time, but by doing the sums in one quick jump.